I'm back with a new, another super craptastically filmed video with a super quick tutorial on how to do something video editing style based on a question asked on the subreddit video editors on reddit.com. In this particular question, the person asking the question asked how to recreate the effects seen in this video using video editing techniques and processes. Well, I decided to add an extra challenge. I decided that since it is an Apple video for an Apple commercial for an Apple phone, why not do it on an Apple product? You can't see, but I'm filming this on the web of my MacBook Pro. So we're gonna do it for Z with everything that comes built into the MacBook Pro. For this, you are going to need Keynote and iMovie. And that's it. So let's do this for zero dollars. The first thing you will need to do is have a script or list of all the different slides or phrases or words that you want to have. Coincidentally, I happen to have one. I made this list based on what was written on the Apple slides. I keyframe by keyframed and just took notes. Um, in my notation, parentheses means you don't see that part, but clearly space is still being left for it. Some people call this masking, but since we're doing it for zero dollars and iMovie doesn't mask, we're gonna have to find another way to do it. Hey, guess what? We can. So we are going to go over into Keynote and we are going to open up a brand new document. We want a wide presentation and we want the background to be black because all of those slides in that movie were black. Now, if you want a different background, that is fine. And even more so, if you want to composite this on top of uh, the words on top of some other image in the background, like say this part of the Apple clip, that I didn't show you before, then you would choose a green background. So we choose the black presentation in Keynote. And I like to zoom out so that I can see the entire slide. I don't like to be zoomed in that much. By the way, background over here, uh, various different colors. This green right here, which can also be found over here or over here is the green that you would want to use if you were going to do that composition shot on top of some already existing footage. But we're not. Get rid of the subtitle bar. We're just going to use this title bar and we are going to adjust the text. You know, I like Helvetica, but for this one, I'm feeling a little bit more Gil Sands. We are going to adjust the text to our particular desire. And then we start making slides based on that slide list that we had before. So. Make sure for this apostrophe that you give a space after it the first time so that the apostrophe automatically changes so that it matches all the future slides. That's very important. Be careful about this automatic sizing of the font. It's important that we keep the font at some size so that it can stay consistent across every slide, which I hadn't tested yet when I created this. I guess we're doing it at 150, kids. Depending on which font you went ahead and used and, and you know, what colors, you might not have to change anything. Now we get to the first slide where we're having to mask out the word apples. I have found that this is super easy to do since our background is black. We just go in here and we are going to match the text color with the background color. And let's say you didn't use black as your background. 
let's say you're not exactly duplicating what I'm doing, that is where this lovely little uh, color picker can come in handy. Just click on the background and it's gone. Magic. But it's still there. But this time it's gone because now we are going to get rid of the word big and so on and so forth. Don't do me. Don't be me. Duplicate. Don't create a new slide. These ones are going to go super fast. Ah, stop being me. Another mask. And now we can finally return to my favorite font size because ready is super big. Ah. And make sure you're actually typing ready into the text box. And we get to mask out everything that doesn't show up there. And this time we are changing our font color back to the original font color that we used. And then have it fade to black. So now, if you were to play your presentation, it would look something like this. And you say, okay, well, that gets me those keyframes that you were looking at, but it doesn't get the transitions between them. And that is where we are going to use a transition. So it's time to animate our transitions. It's just up to you to choose your transition effect between everything. Um, a lot of people like fade through color. which appears to be the one that is used on, on the video, but I also like Magic Move. It also fades pretty much identically. And so I am going to choose for all but the very last slide, I'm going to choose Magic Move. I'm going to choose Magic Move. This is an Apple-only transition, and it animates objects from this slide onto their positions in the next slide. You can show it again or don't show it again. The thing that you want to do is, in this case, you want to do it by word. We are going to start the transition automatically. My little seconds are going to be 0.01. We are learning together, you and I. That's what makes this a craptastic tutorial. So let's see what it looks like now. This is looking awfully similar to that video, isn't it? I mean, it's a little slower. It's a lot slower, but we can speed things up in post or in iMovie.
The only thing we haven't finished is fading that ready out. Okay. And then this slide, I'm going to add the effect, and we are going to scale. We want to scale it down. And there we go. And now we're going to say File. We choose to export it as QuickTime. It is going to be self-playing. You can set it to 720p or 1080p. Since I don't want to tax my machine and um, this is super, super quickie. I'm going to set it to 720p because that is the format of the thing that's going on YouTube. We hit next. It does its thing. We're going to call this, I'll put it under movies. We're going to call this Apple Replica and export. It's going to create the movie. And I'll catch you next over in iMovie. This right here is the tutorial that I am doing as I am doing it. I'm actually putting it together as I'm doing it to make sure that all of my visuals are corresponding with what I want to teach and how I want to teach it. Yay, former teacher in me. Uh, we're going to go over in, this is iMovie, of course. And uh, we're going to go over to create a new, we want to create a new movie. And we're going to import media. And we are going to pull in that video that we made, the Apple replica, um, and import it. And we're going to put it into our movie. So now at this point, it looks like this. If we play it, Apple clearly does not feel that the apostrophe counts for its magic move. That is so painfully slow, but we shall fix it in a second. So then we're going to go scroll along our timeline until we find the part where it's almost gotten to the numbers. We are going to break the movie with a, uh, a, a command B and take it all the way over to the part where it's almost at 107. We're going to select this clip after command B being the movie there. And we are going to say that this is going to go to speed setting four times. We're going to break the movie again here, command B, because this part goes together well. And then this piece and this piece the first piece and the last piece are going to get sped up two times. So now your overall movie looks like this. Perfect. And now we export it as a file. And that's all she wrote. Look at how dark it's gotten while you and I were working on that video. It was pretty quick. Anyway, you probably are going to want to add sound. 
to your replica of the Apple Movie video. Um, find a good sound clip that you like, play around with the beat, speed up parts, slow down parts, command B all over the place and make a whole bunch of little segments out of your video so that you can match it up to the beat. It's always better to cut on the beat and those, where I called it breaking the video, that's really cutting um, and you're gonna want to match up to the beat, get something really rad. Oh, and I made you a little present. did all this again with a green screen chroma key overlay, which there are a ton of YouTube tutorials on. You don't need me. Yay! If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't subscribe. No, it's a waste of your subscription. But I do have a vlog channel if you like my pretty face, and you can find the link to that in the video description. That one you can subscribe to. This has been Jay.